there, it's Mitzi. Welcome to my channel. Today I am doing an unboxing and this is what happened with this box. I don't even remember what's in here because I ordered this a long time ago. I ordered from Book Outlet and Book Outlet takes a while to ever get here. I don't know why it takes so much time, but if I order from Book Outlet, I don't need it to be something that I want to read next the next week because it takes weeks for me to get the books, which I don't mind. It's not like I'm in a hurry for the books, but I have to kind of remember that uh, when I order things. So I ordered these books. Um, I because I've ordered from Book Outlet, I'll get you know emails, and if they have a sale, I'll go on and and look up certain authors. Now I normally don't even look at the sale that they're advertising. I'll just it just kind of reminds me to go to Book Outlet to look for certain um authors that sometimes I'll find on there super cheap or maybe a cozy mystery or something like that. So this past time, I don't even remember when this was. I'm telling y'all it was a long time ago that they sent this little announcement about a uh sale that they were having. I typed in a few um mystery series and things authors and things and i don't even remember what they were but they were super cheap i do remember that about them because if they're not super cheap i'm not going to buy them so i know that and so normally what i do is just what i described and i'll do that about once a year i'll go on book outlet and make me a really big order well this particular one i don't think this is a big order it don't feel like it's that many books I might be surprised, uh, but I don't think I ordered that many books, but I did want to unbox it in front of you, and I kept forgetting to do this, so it's been underneath my desk, and so let's dust off this box and open it together. Now, one thing I, there's a couple of things I want to mention about Book Outlet. I do love Book Outlet. I think I actually have a code in my description box. I don't even know what that code is. I think if you refer people, you might get a discount or something. So if you've never been to Book Outlet, use my code and I think I get a discount or something. I think I get points. I think that might be what it is. Anyway, there there you should be a discount code in the description box. But if you've never used Book Outlet, there are some things you need to know. First of all, for me, where I live, for some reason, it takes weeks for me to get the packages. Uh, the other thing is they're super cheap. This is like a surplus store, so it's, I think, how it works is they get, like, extra copies of things so they can sell them super cheap. So you do get things a lot cheaper on Book Outlet. However, I have been disappointed with Book Outlet many times because you know I am a book cover person. If there is a certain edition I am trying to collect of something, I want that edition. And sometimes the picture does not match what I get. So it'll be the book, like C.S. Lewis's Screw Tape Letters, but it'll be a different cover of the Screw Tape Letters than the one I'm trying to, uh, the series, the editions of C.S. Lewis or whoever I'm trying to collect. So keep that in mind if you want to uh, shop on Book Outlet. So with that said, I have certain ones that I hope I ordered, and it might not be that, but we'll find out. So anyway, that is uh, something that kind of, irritates me I guess is annoying about uh, Book Outlet because if you show me a picture I assume that's what I'm getting. But it is super cheap so you have to keep that in mind. And sometimes if you keep reading it'll say like okay this is this edition. You have to kind of read that. Not always but uh, sometimes because I know I bought Paper Mill Press books from there. Well they look like the Paper Mill Press because that's what all their books look like. So uh, you're safe with that if you want to order some of those classic paper mill press books. And they're really nice. I like those books. Anyway, the other thing I love about these uh, packages, the boxes, is all the boxes come in this where you pull the, the little tab and it strips open. Sometimes it doesn't work for me, but I do like that feature of the box. And then all the boxes always say, warning, may contain awesome books. And I don't know why that makes me happy, but I love that it says that because it makes me think, oh, I can't remember what I, I purchased. Let's go find out. So I'm going to open this again. I haven't even pulled the tab and we're going to do that together. So let's see if I can find where to pull the tab on this because sometimes It'll work, and sometimes it won't. And I don't think this is going to work. So hang on a minute. I need to go get my um, paper cutter. Okay, never mind. I found it said pull here, and I wasn't <laughs> following directions. So let's see if I can pull this box open. 
Okay, that took longer than I thought. All right, so I have the box open. And there are more books in here than I remember. Okay, so the first one is uh, a paperback, and it's called Murder in Postscript, A Lady of Let Letters Mystery by Mary Winters. And I do remember seeing the cover of this thinking, yeah, this looks like something I would enjoy because I think it's Victorian. It says, when one of her readers asked for advice following a suspected murder, Victorian Countess Amelia Amesbury, who secretly pins the popular Lady Agony column, has no choice but to investigate in this first book, I love that, that it's the first one, in a charming new historical mystery series. So I can't wait to read this. I hope that there's like letters and things in here because that's what it sounds like. Yes, there are. So yay for this one. It looks like there is... Um, some letters in here, so maybe it's an epistolary, and I love epistolary novels. It's Victorian. I love that about it, and it's the first in a series. So if I love this one, I will keep going with this one. Let me know if you've read Murder in Postscript, which is a Lady of Letters mystery. I guess that's the name of the series. So that's the first one. And then, oh, I forgot about these, y'all. I, I This was a splurge. I should not have even bought these, because I don't even know how I like this series. But there's birds. So I picked these up because they were hard to cover and they were a great price. This is a Meg Langslow, I think that's how you say it, mystery. Y'all, the titles got me. <laughs> the titles got me. These are cozy mysteries, I think, by Donna Andrews. And this one's called The 12 J's of Christmas. Isn't that great? Oh, I love it. So we got some Blue Jays, and this one is, this is, I got several of these. This one is my favorite because owls are my favorite. I love owls, and I say that, but if I go outside and see a chickadee, I'll say <laughs> the chickadee's my favorite. But I do love owls. I've always been fascinated by owls. And this one is called Owl Be Home <laughs> for Christmas. <laughs> that cracks me up. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm cracking myself up. That is so funny. I'll be home for Christmas. These are great. The puns on these cozy mysteries are hilarious. Okay, let it crow, <laughs> let it crow, let it crow. I think all of these are Christmas themed. Isn't that cute? I'm sorry about my ring light, but maybe you can see that. These are great covers. It's just funny. Dashing through the snowbirds. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious, y'all. So these are all Christmassy. So that's fun. Okay, this one I have really excited about. I remember this one. It's uh, by Karen Whitmire. And I have been eyeing this for a long time. And I had to grab this one because it was super cheap. Uh, Fairest of Heart. This is the Texas Ever After. Uh, so it looks like Snow White over here. So I, it just caught my eye because of that. Because I do love Karen Whitmire books. And I love fairy tales. So I thought, yes, this was, I, I just know this is going to be good. But the Texas Ever After, I think this is the first one. Let me know in the comments, but I think this is the first. And then we have If the Boot Fits by Karen Whitmire, which is in the same Texas Ever After. If you've read these, though, let me know if I need to read them in order or if they're just different fairy tales you know, related. You know how they'll do that. That you can read them out of order or whatever. But, um, yeah. Looking forward to both of these. If the boot fits, that sounds like Cinderella. And then this one sounds like a Snow White uh, sort of nod or retelling or something. So, really excited about that. And then one more is um, When Twilight Breaks by Sarah Sun. And this has got a Target sticker on the front of it. So again, they you never know what you're going to get. But I, I wanted to read this one because I've heard good things about it. And I do love Sarah Sundin. If you follow my channel, you know I've fallen in love with all the Sarah Sundin books. And this one's called When Twilight Breaks. It says on the back, Munich 1938. So we'll see how this one is. So have you read any of these? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.